Not nearly as high as it used to be. Good. And there's something going on north of Valdosta. We know this because of Valdosta sampling at US 41. Uh, in big rains, we often see sky high there. <clears throat> and here's one of the embarrassing parts. I'm going to compliment the city of Valdosta several times. I, that, yeah, that, that is painful for me, but I must do it. It's been a long battle. Uh, yeah, well, but when Valdosta does good stuff, I like to mention it. Thank you. And I'm going to start by thanking Scott Fowler, who is sending over the Valdosta results in a timely manner, which lets us see what's going on. So, uh, recently we uh, had, uh, we did uh, eight new testing sites upstream of US-41. We know it's also somehow downstream of Georgia-122 because we test there regularly. We don't see it sky high there, somewhere in between. So what's in between? Well, there's a bunch of creeks. In particular, when we tested last Thursday, we find, found high results on both Cat Creek and Beatty Branch. Now, they were not as high as what was seen at US-41, but we didn't test right after a rain. And those creeks have lower flow in the river, of course, but if a big rain washes a bunch of stuff down them, well, it could be where it's coming from. Gotcha. Now, what's upstream on those creeks? 